And now I'm not gonna lie, you know on TV shows, the mother and daughter become best friends? When they both become, when she becomes a, a grown up? Motherfucking lie. <laughs> I am trying not to graduate from Chardonnay to cocaine. I am trying. It's me, no one notices how much you drink until you move back home with your family. My mother can tell when I'm pouring grape juice or orange juice. She's like, Jacqueline, it's not even noon yet. Are you pouring wine? You're lucky it's not heroin. I should be high all goddamn day. I live here with you. She's a liar. I didn't realize that. You don't know when you're growing up that your mother's a liar. Because she's the neighborhood older lady and the neighborhood is worried about her. You know, with COVID, she's in an age group where if she got COVID, she'd die in a half hour. So I've been worried about her for the whole year, okay? People come around, they're like, Miss Carol, are you staying home? Are you being... She's like, I'm so scared of the COVID. Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. I don't go anywhere. I stay home to be nice and safe. This bitch is gone every day for three hours. I don't know where she's going. She comes back with a bag with one can of ginger ale, four bananas, an apple. This ain't essential, bitch. You're gonna die! What are you doing? She pays all of her bills in person like it's 1990. Jackie, I want to pay my Macy's bill in person. I have 11 computers on me right now. I can't pay shit for her online. She's obsessed with how many things she owns, the number of them, utensils. She's like, Jackie, I had nine forks. Where are two of my forks? They're in my fucking sock drawer. Why would I have your forks? So what I do now, I go on Amazon, I bought her 498 forks. I'm not, I'm not gonna have this fight every day. If I can't, if she can't find it, I'm gonna order a thousand of them. She has never tried to speak proper English my whole life. Been here longer than I've been alive. We had a new baby born in our family, new baby boy, new baby cousin. My mom's on the phone with the baby boy on FaceTime, telling him nursery rhymes, I think. <laughs> She's like, the itchy bitchy spider. That's not how it goes. <laughs> but she keeps trying, she keeps trying. Like, hum big down there fell off of the wall. <laughs> and little Miss Muffet eat him. That's two stories, and you made them horror stories. None of that shit is right. <laughs> She's a little bit racist, a little bit racist. Because my father, he, he passed away four years ago. And he was the complexion of Lionel Richie. He's a very light-skinned black man. My mother is a very dark-skinned woman. So whenever I bring home a man who wasn't light like my father, and mom's like, Jacqueline, your boyfriend is a monkey. <laughs> I'm like, mommy, I appreciate the honesty, but he's standing right here. Can he go home first? He... <laughs> I'm a casual marijuana smoker. <laughs> you guys are clapping at the weirdest shit. I'm a... A casual marijuana smoker, but I don't smoke in front of my mother. I really can't smoke. I mean, I do in my bedroom, but when I smoke a joint, I do it out the window. I'm like a window AC unit. Half my body's outside, half is inside, trying to get high and have her not smell that shit. Because I learned about weed. I learned about weed in California. I'm glad they're going to make it legal in New York because we're all high all the time anyway. Um, in California, though, it's, uh, it's a different thing, though. It's, uh, it's everywhere. It's, it's the, the kids are high, the mailman, your doctor. Everyone's high in California. <laughs> you have to uh, go to a dispensary. My dispensary was next door to my bank. You understand that's not the real world? <laughs> and my girlfriend had to teach me about weed out there. She's like, Jack, we're gonna ease you into the world of weed slowly. We're gonna give you an edible, but you can't have the whole edible, only eat the corner. I said, I'm a big girl, I wanna eat the whole thing. He's like, no, you'll die, only eat the corner, that's it. So I ate the corner, brought the rest home, uh, I ate the whole thing. <laughs> I got so high, I called an ambulance for myself. Do you understand? When the guys got to my house, I was wearing my old wedding dress, a parka, a cowboy hat, a pair of skis. Bitch, you know I don't ski where I get skis from. But when you're high, you find shit around the house. 